East Coast Garage. So today we are going to be installing an HD race front mounted intercooler on the F10. We're really lucky to be working with VR Speed Factory on bringing this video to you guys. A few weeks ago we actually installed their upgraded charge pipe on the F10 and had some incredible results so we're really excited to get this bigger intercooler in. VRSF has actually run their own tests on a similar F10 running about 20 pounds of boost. They found that in a second to fifth gear pull, their intercooler only rose about two degrees while the stock intercooler rose over 76. This kit comes with everything we're gonna need to replace our stock intercooler. Essentially, we're gonna have to drop the plastic underbody on the car as well as the intercooler bracket and then pop the clips off the intercooler itself, drop our old intercooler, put our new intercooler in and install the new brackets included with the kit. This whole kit retails for about $640. Make sure you check out VR Speed Factory. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below for this part. Uh, they also have intercoolers for all sorts of BMWs, and I think they even have some Hyundais and some other cars as well, so whatever you guys own, be sure to at least check them out. Also be sure to check out our own website, eastcoastgaragellc.com, we're running some great deals right now. Alright guys, let's get to it. So we're under the car right now, and we're going to be removing all of the 8mm bolts to remove this underbody. So now that we have our underbody off, we're gonna remove the two T20s on either side of this intercooler bracket. So basically we're gonna be taking a pick, and putting it in this clamp, and then pushing it up. Should pop it out. The same thing on the other side. After we got the pipe off, we just push it to the sides so then we can pull this out. So on your outlet pipe, you have the same style clip that you have to remove. You just want to keep messing with this pipe back here until you can finally pull it off of the intercooler itself. Then once you push this clip out and pull down, it'll easily come off. So right now, we're just going to be careful with this coolant line and slowly pull the intercooler out. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses so you don't get any debris on you. Alright guys, so here's our old intercooler. As you can tell, it's much, much smaller. Our new one's going to fit nicely up there. Uh, we're going to make sure we clean out all the debris that's in here. You can get a quick look at that. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of our stock intercooler compared to our new intercooler. As you can see, it is much smaller um, and it actually set up a little bit higher. So there's about two inches extra on the bottom of our new intercooler. And that is the reason why VRSF included two brackets. These two brackets are where your old intercooler bracket was held in at. So we're basically gonna put this intercooler back in and then screw in the bolts that held your old intercooler bracket on. What's going on guys? So we just got the new intercooler in. Uh, one of the hardest parts was probably getting these flanges over this brace right here. Uh, you kinda gotta really finagle it. This inlet hose went in pretty easily, but this outlet hose took about an hour to get in. Uh, it was definitely really difficult. I actually had to put a little oil on the inside of it to slide it on. I highly recommend doing your intercooler and charge pipe at the same time. If you have your old charge pipe off, it's much easier to get the intercooler in. Might even save you like 30 minutes to an hour. My only suggestion is to really mess with it, like just shake it back and forth while you're uh, pushing it on. But we did get the clamp on, so that is good. So this intercooler is in. Uh, like I was talking about before, it is two inches longer. In the length so which is why VRSF included these brackets as you can see here the new brackets go right into where the old intercooler bracket went uh, it just has the special longer bracket to hold this in so now we're just gonna put our underbody on the car and then we should be set so right before we put our intercooler in we did a little test to see how high we could get our horsepower so uh, now that we put the new intercooler in we're gonna see if we can top out the scale before we hit right around like 310 I'm hoping to get it to 320. 
Huge thanks for watching the video. I hope it helps some of you guys out. Please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. We're hoping to get some awesome videos for you guys over the next few weeks. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned.